All right. We uh, unfortunately have had too much uh, Zoom bombing uh, for anyone to tolerate. So we're going to have to change the login requirements, make it a little tougher for the students, but this will hopefully put a stop to that. What we're going to do is we're going to implement authenticated users and only users who are authenticated with a Loomis email address. And this doesn't mean you're not going to be able to have conferences with people outside Loomis. You're just going to have to go through some other steps. It does mean students who have already registered on Zoom using some other email address or who are still using guest access won't be able to do that anymore. They're going to have to delete their accounts and recreate them using their Loom, Loomis email address. And then a email gets sent to Loomis from Zoom to their email asking them to authenticate. This hopefully means nobody outside of Loomis could get in. So here's what it looks like. And here's how we set it up. So here is my account. And what I've done is uh, there is an uh, administrative management cult, uh, council here, uh, which uh, applies to everyone. And so whenever I make a change here, it carries across. And what I've done is I've added an option for you under authenticated users can join the meeting. There's one option called uh, they must have a Zoom account. That's already proven to be useless. The other option is called zoomist.org lewis.org only, and that's the one we're going to use. So when will you see it? Well, if I go under meetings and I click on my personal meeting uh, account uh, room, and remember that's a little bit different than where settings are. And then I come down here and I edit my meeting. And these are these are the generic meetings. I will now, or the, uh, this is the common account that you all have that makes it so much easier for students to log in. You'll see um, we've turned off already the enable join before. Uh, we've turned off some other options. But what we have now is we enable, enable waiting rooms and we have use authenticated users only. And when you click on this, you're going to see the option for Loomis.org only. That's all you need to do. Once you do that, you're good to go. Now, you might ask, well, how do I have a meeting with a colleague or someone outside Loomis. Well, if I go ahead and I just schedule a meeting, okay, and this is a scheduled meeting. This is not the, uh, the drop-in anytime meeting. I can then, and we should always use generate a code, so we have one code. And then uh, down here, you'll see authenticated users only, and you can either turn this off altogether or you can change it back to Zoom only. So, this is how you would get around that if you're going to have a meeting with colleagues around the country. Um, but for the personal meeting room, just start the meeting. This is the way we're going to go. So how does it look? So let's start ourselves a meeting. And by the way, I just got a window. I don't know if you saw that, but there was an upgrade window. Run these upgrades anytime you see them for Zoom because they're fixing lots of bugs. So I'm logged in and you can see all the features worked. Uh, I've got my recording came on automatically. We'll turn that off. And so then I'm going to grab my meeting ID. And this little ID here is what's been causing us all the trouble because once that gets out, you know, they can have lots of fun. I'm going to go over here to a PC I have here, join meeting, and I'm just going to put in that meeting account. And um, believe it or not, people have just been trying to guess this 10 page, this 10 digit number. All right, and I go join, and the message I get, sorry for this, is, not, is you're not an authenticated user, you can't get in. They get stopped right there, they're dead in the water. If I then log in with a Loomis.org account, all the other parameters apply, they might, uh, they might be told to, um, to go into a waiting room or whatever. So I hope that helps you. Um, Again, just call IT if you're having any, uh, any issues at all, and we'll help walk this through you. Uh, we think we're going to be implementing this very quickly. We're working with the, uh, the dean's office and communications to get the word out to the students. So you can expect some issues with the um, maybe the first few days of school as kids are maybe using their own account or a guest account and they can't get in. I hope this helps. Thanks.